What's up guys, today we're going to be hyper analyzing Jordan Stout's performance from this last game because it's something that I think we need to go over together as a unit. Jordan Stout had a very solid performance. The first thing I want to look at here is how he catches the ball. He catches kind of the front middle of it. All that's going to do is make his situation uh, in the back of the end zone be not as crisp and clean as we want to be. Aside from that 45-5-1, can't really complain. This next punt right here shows a little bit of what I'm seeing in his directional left. So ideally you want to watch his steps and ideally they're walking right towards the sideline is what you'd want to see. His left step does exactly that but as we watch the replay you can kind see his left step takes him towards the sideline then his right steps pull him back upfield which is going to make his ball fade back inside more towards the numbers than he'd want. Closer to about the numbers bottom of the numbers right there and opens up a lot of field space for that returner to kind of juke out one of his guys. Punt number two and a half or three depending how when you call it is just one of the most classic miss hits in the book. He sets himself very far to the right doesn't love his angle so he kind of pulls his hips back around to try to push that ball back in bounds and as we watch the flight path of the ball it is a very telltale sign as it hits that almost invisible wall in the the sky that pushes it back towards the numbers that that was a miss hit so he just has to trust that line a little bit more keep his hips towards his direction this next punt he absolutely dongs it goes out of bounds there's really not much to write off about this he takes a great line kicks straight to the ball and you can see it fade all the way out of bounds for a 49 yard net not much to do there good job slap him on the ass and keep going this last ball was jordan stout's worst ball of the night and this one's kind of a tricky one so he's going for a little bit of a pooch punt he's backed up i think he tries to put too much in it in this scenario you'd want him to just trust his ball flight but as you can see here as he kind of comes around on it he tries to just mash it and what happens is it hits off the inside panel and jets off to the left well getting him way out of bounds at like the 24 yard line which is not ideal and he's pretty upset about this uh, the one little tweak I could see him making I'm not sure if he'll go with this or not uh, but what happens is he creates a lot of power by closing his hips to the ball which is why you'll see him sometimes overcorrect and end up with his shoulders open to the left because he tries to completely crush the ball closes his hips to it while also also getting some hip raising action I say that to say this on this specific type of punt that's gonna get him into some trouble so what he could do is turn the nose of the ball a little bit more in so it can line up with that foot more you're less likely to get these super dangerous miss hits that are gonna shoot off to the left but in reality more likely than not they're gonna have him just work this punt a lot in practice maybe even start off with his steps going a little bit straighter or even a little bit to the right to make up for this potential miss hit that's very common in righties who happen to be from America that hit this miss hit on their pooch punts a lot but it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds overall i'd give him a very solid uh b plus rating there's a lot of good punts there's a lot of things he was doing right a lot of ways he can you know improve and continue to refine his craft and put his team into better positions so all in all very good stuff so good stuff jordan can't wait to see more for the rest of the season that will back up the returner to the five across to the 15 that'll be taken down to the 20.